It's not always easy to find the article, even if you have the exact title. So here are a few tricks to help get you started. Sometimes if you have the exact title, finding an article is easy. In this big blue start your research box on the library homepage, I just put the article title in quotes and hit enter. And when we own the item, you know, nine times out of 10 or even more often than that, it's gonna be the first result and you'll have a link right here for PDF full text. If we click on the title, we'll have even more information about the article and another link to the full text. Like I said though, it's not always that easy, so let me show you a tricky one. I'm gonna use the same technique called phrase searching where I put that title in quotes. This makes sure that all those words in the title are all together in my search results. So here we have a, a couple of options actually. I'm gonna click on the second one to show you that there's no PDF full text link here and there's no full text of the article here either. But if we just click full text finder, this should find a full text version of the article for me. In some browsers, you're gonna get this blank screen. Just click right here where it says to launch full text in a new window, and there it is. That's the article I'm looking for. The last example I'm gonna show you is even trickier. I actually have the full citation of this article open in a separate window here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the title just as before. So one thing I know is that this big blue box here searches most of what the library owns, but not everything. So when I get a no results found page like this, I usually try a little bit harder. So one of the things you can do is fill out this form to ask a librarian, you'll live chat with somebody like me and we can help you find it. Uh, you can also look yourself in the, the first place we look, which is periodical list. So I have the whole citation. If you don't, you can just search uh, you know, the general web and you'll usually be able to figure out uh, what periodical or journal um, this article was published in. So here we go, we have the title of the periodical here and I can search for that using the periodical list link here. Or there's also a search in this big blue search box on our homepage, you can also click periodicals right there. So I'll search right here, right on the front page of the library's website. And the resulting search page should list all of the places that I can find that particular journal in library databases. So here we go, click on the, the journal title, and here we go. Here are all of the different databases that own it, and actually it looks like the library has it in print as well. Let's see, there are some uh, year questions here. So let's see what year our article was published. 2013. So it looks like it's available in most of these. I'm just gonna click on the, the first one just to show you guys the next step in the process here. And here's more information about that journal. As I said, 2013 is the year we're looking for. This particular citation style doesn't list the month of publication or the issue number. All it has is the page numbers of the volume. So I could try and figure out which of these issues have those page numbers, but instead I'm gonna use this feature, which almost all of our databases have, which is search within this publication. As I recall, the authors of this article were Taylor and Norton. And when I hit, oh, what did I do wrong? Here we go. Uh, Tucker and Norton. Tucker and Norton. And when I do, we have actually solved our mystery of why we're having trouble finding this particular article, and that's that the title is a little bit different. My citation uses uh, an abbreviation. So whenever you have trouble, there's that. That's really the first place we we go to troubleshoot. There's a couple more advanced ones that would take too long to, to cover in, in this video, especially when it's, it's pretty rare that people need to do that. But it is worth knowing that there's other ways that we can search for items uh, that aren't included in this video because you can go to Ask a Librarian to chat with us or email us or give us a call and we'll help you figure that out. Uh, also, if you've, you've gone through all the steps and you figured out we don't have the article that you need, this service called Interlibrary Loan uh, it is one where we will borrow it from another library on your behalf. So you would just find Interlibrary Loan on the library's website, log in to create a request. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Be sure to ask a librarian if you need any help.